Are you homeschooling parent to a little one ages like pre-K to first grade and you want to do science with them but you see you want to be more hands-on and the science curriculums are maybe a little too mature for your kids? Well today I want to share with you how I'm going to be teaching science to my kindergartner and first grader. Hey guys, it's Fani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I make homeschooling videos on curriculum reviews, homeschool day in the lives, tips and answers, and everything to help you walk through your homeschooling journey so we can walk through it together. So today I want to share with you a curriculum that I created called Learning About Science Through Creation. This is actually part two to share with you how we are doing science this year. What I will do also is create a separate video showing you how we did science for preschool using my part one. And that one is complete. And that one I could post up for sale if you guys are interested in. But I'm just going to flip the camera over and show you what this looks like. So this is my learning science through God's creation based on Genesis 1. Now last year for preschool, we did different subjects all based on Genesis 1 and it was just an intro to topics and then this year is geared towards kindergarten and first grade where we're going to go a little bit more in depth. So what I did was I took, this is a very rough copy, that's how you see things crossed out and written in. This is made for me only to see and to use. Um, I may not be able to put this one for sale only because I'm taking from some other science curriculums and using them in here so if this is something you guys are interested in I can take those lessons out and create my own so things we're going to be learning about so anyway it goes like this in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth so for that Bible verse we're going to be learning about rock formation and planets and then the next verse for the next so that's one week is rock formation the second week is the planets this is a uh, science is made to be done once a week so that's where we're, this science is made to be done once a week. And then you can reinforce the topics with books and other activities throughout the whole week. But the main lesson will be done once a week. Um, and then it says, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. And so for that, we'll learn about light and color. And then God called the vault sky. And there was evening and there was morning the second day. We'll learn about air. You can learn about the Earth's atmosphere, clouds and wind, sounds, magnets, and our Earth. So for every day that God created, we are breaking that down into different science units. So I will go ahead and show you a sample of my first lesson. The first lesson is we're going to be discussing what is a scientist. And I'm always going to have a book suggested or video link suggested. Um, and these will be clickable and the rest will be in PDF file. There's also always going to be Pinterest um, activities that these are Pinterest activities with links to those things. So this is a, basically a resource to help you save time in creating your own lesson. So we'll be learning about what is a scientist. Uh, we'll read a book, what is science? And then we'll read a book and talk about it. I'll ask the kids questions. Um, then we'll introduce the scientific method video. And then I'll have the scientific method. I've got some free worksheets here from teachers, paid teachers. But if I end up putting this for sale, I will create all of my own things. And what we'll do is I'll link that below if I can find the link for that too. Um, we'll be practicing the scientific method as we do these experiments. The elephant toothpaste and the bubble in a bubble. And then also the floating egg. And then... Um, we'll play games till the parents come pick them up. So this is made for the co-op, but if you guys are going to do it in your home school, it'll have links to all those different things, and it'll have all the ingredients, all the you know things that you need for your um, for your oh my goodness, your uh, what are these things called? Experiments <laughs> for your experiments. And um, I have here some open-ended questions that I also got off of Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, Right now, I just pulled a bunch of resources because I'm just teaching it in a group setting. But if this ever goes for sale, it would all be my own things, no one else's. And then I'll give you another example of a lesson. So if we're going to do rocks, we're going to have rocks for the kids to look at. We're always going to have a hands-on activity. We're always going to have books. Um, we're going to have different conversations, some worksheets. 
um, some crafts and labs and things like that to try. So this is how we are going to be doing science for the little ones this year. So let me know what you guys thought of that. If you liked it and you're interested in something like this. And if I get a lot of responses, I'll go ahead and push to get it moving quicker so I can post it for sale. Um, but I will also make a video of the one for preschoolers. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.